Hi, we're on Mille Lacs Lake with Dickie Gad, boys. He owns Dickie's on Mille Lacs. Uh, he's been on the lake for 45, 50 years? Yeah, 40 years, 45. He's, yeah, he's got a, a launch, long time. He's got a launch business in the summer. He uh, does ice fishing. He plows roads everywhere on the lake. He's got uh, the rental houses. He's Like I said, he's got a guide service in the summertime. He's got a pontoon. Uh, you can get a hold of Dickie at uh, Dickie's on Mille Lacs. And I, Dickie's, like I said, he's been around here. Well, we've both been around here a long time, I guess. Mm -hmm. And he's got roads. He's got, uh, this year you're going out of MS, this next winter, because it's. Going out of MSA or, or the uh, VFW. It's the same thing. It used to be old flagship back in the day. Right. And they'll be running his business next winter out of there. Uh, his summer business, he runs out of Max Twin Bay. Uh, the boat dock or the boat boathouse? Boathouse. Boathouse is where he parks his pontoon. And if you need to get, like I said, if you need to get a hold of Dickie, call, get a hold of my Dickies on Black. He has a web page. Uh, it's Dickies on Black. I believe the web page. Yep. Dickies on Black Lake. Yep. And he, he, we got he, in the winter time. We just had a big deal with Wheelhouse Warriors out here. It was a big event. Lots of wheelhouses. Uh, big drawings and prizes. They gave a wheelhouse away this year. Uh, there's always something going on. Dickie's probably one of the most knowledgeable men on Mille Lacs Lake. Yeah, like I said, we've been around for a, for a long time. So if you're looking for a fun time, for summer, winter, give Dickie a call and he'll set you up. And like we're out here today, tulip fishing, we got, you know, yesterday we had like 40 or 50, I suppose. And today we got like 30 or 40 with a bunch of guys. And we got guys from Texas with us. We got guys from South Dakota. We got guys from the you know, south of town here. Hey, we're having a good time. And Dickie's out fishing with us, catching some fish. and. We're having fun. Dickie ain't catching many fish today, though. I have him on a slump. I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. I must how about, how about I must a phone have dumped number? gas or something this morning. Yeah. <laughs> how about, you got a phone number they can get a hold of you? Yeah. 320-676-8795. Look at that. Dickie found one. Mark's hole, too. His jinx. His jinx has just been broken. Look at that. Dickie got himself a tulip tree. My God. I thought maybe I was skunk. No good for nothing. But I finally did it. <laughs> you got supper. Somebody's supper, not mine. <laughs> Take your hood off, Barry, so we can see you. I don't have time. Oh, there's one. Get it? Parker. He come right up off the bottom in 40 feet of water and I brought my jig up to him and boy he whacked it. Hey we got a little Dickie here from Dickie's on the Lax. You think he'd come over here and get my transducer out of the hole and get, get to working, but he ain't working too hard today. Get the fish out of the hole. I want the transducer. Yeah, you can always replace them. No. <laughs> Here's what we're fishing for, boys. It's uh, these are tulip peas. This is one of the smaller ones. This is probably a pound and a half. Ones we're usually catching are pretty close to two pounds. And like I said earlier, we get perch with them, we get walleyes with them, we get, you know, whatever swimming out here, you'll catch them. But what we're using is just small, real small tungsten jigs with wax worms and ural larvae. But that's what we're getting. But you, you know, you got to have your electronics. Cause you, with all electronics, they're tough to catch. The only one I know that can catch with electronics is Dickie over here, because he's been doing it so old. He's old as dirt, but he's got that touch. He's got an old bait caster reel on an old rod that looks like a cane pole with a bunch of eyes on it, and he can damn near outfish anybody, except for Uncle Phil and the Texans. <laughs> Somewhere where we can't get with their pickups. Our, our young gentleman here. 
brought his big V plot, so now he can plow us a road around, and we can get out here and we just fish off the, off the road right down, and we don't have to trample through the snow or nothing. It's easy. I fish out of my truck, though. I said, I leave the heat on. These guys are out there, they got all their clothes on. I'm sitting in my slippers and my shoes, fishing out the truck door with the heat on. That's the way to fish. You can fish all the way down the road. Yeah. Wherever that black ice is, is where them fish are. Yeah. But they're in that, that's a hatch in there. That bunker hatch, and that's where they're going to be. This was dark black ice, but it, a short while ago, it all went to heck. So, we got a long ways to go down. Yeah. Well, we caught them in the road you know, yesterday. We caught them all up. Yeah. Everything was in the road where, where the road was plowed for people to drive on for when Dickie had his fish house spotted out here during the season. And we just, Dickie widened it out for us the other day, so we just drilled holes in the road, and the sunlight goes through, and there's hatch, their bugs are hatching in the mud, and that's what we're catching. That means sun, sun beating through the black ice makes them hatch. Not coming off. All right, good job. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> Grease lightning, man. The <laughs> silver bullet. <laughs> Gotta love it. High Point Pet Foods presents Country Creations Dog Foods, offering quality nutrition for the life of your canine companion. To feel the fire of puppyhood into keeping the energy level high of an active young dog. Optimizing the performance of the hard-charging adult or having a quality diet for your senior canine companion. Country Creations has you covered with their quality formulas. Get in touch with High Point Pet Foods today. Midwest Gundog Kennels is your full-time gundog training facility. For over 30 years, we have customized our training to fit each individual gundog. We know it takes a well-trained gundog to handle wild birds. Make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gundog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gundog Kennels, where experience equals excellence.
<laughs> I just don't want to see you put twist in your line. Do that. Oh, yesterday morning. Yeah. Kind of nice. It don't even get hands dirty. <laughs> And you're not using down. a flash or anything yeah. above it. Yeah, yeah, I got a flash. Oh, there it yeah. is. There it is. It takes a couple, three minutes to find for that to find Old wiggler. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. Just let him go. Oh! Well, I guess you're watching. Do I have one? You can see one. Give me one. Give me one. Yeah. How can you do anything but this on a day like today. Here we go. There's over 20. Come on. Little snot rocket. <laughs> What do you think of that, Tom? We could drill some more holes over here. You could maybe just be off a little bit. No. That's a candy. <laughs> yeah, you could have that, Tom. Even though I can do it myself. you what, Tom, I never would have saw that bite if it wasn't for this Northland Tackle Cherry Picker. This soft doodle rod, just seen that, wasn't a, wasn't a very hard take. Just a couple of taps on there, but this noodle rod. And then when you set the hook, look at where the backbone is on this. Can handle any, any fish that we've got in that pile over there. They're getting to be a pile. But that Cherry Picker, panfish, crappies, sunfish, tulies, you can't get a better rod for the price. He come off the bottom and then he come up about a foot and then he went down again and I got it by drinking him off the bottom twice. That 
that's how you get them so you don't have to bend down. When you got a bad back and you can't bend down, you use the scooper. Mm -hmm. nice there. Yeah, another, another nice tool be. The smoker will be happy. Nice, another nice black tulip. You know, we got a fishery here that nobody's out here. I mean, we're well, we're the only ones here. There's a couple other guys out looking for perch. I'm sure for a contest this weekend. But you know, we're out here catching these nice tulipies. We got the boys from Texas, one from South Dakota, uh, one from Forestton, a couple from Oak Park, one from uh, uh, Pequot Lakes, and the other one I think it's from Stillwater. I think he just got out of jail. That Mark guy. <laughs> He needs a haircut and a beard trim, but you know, we're going to take a fun for him later. But, go you know, another nice fish. I drag something in here. Yeah. Big perch. Perch. Okay, you're good at perch. I need more worms, don't I? No, that's good. good point. I wanted to know if that's tangled, that you fight, there it is, you got it now. Besides catching tulip piece, you also run into this, some perch. We used to be, once in a while we get a walleye and some big northerns out here, because of what they are, the walleyes are out here eating the perch and the smaller tulip peas, and the big northerns are just coming out here to uh, get some food. The dinner bell's on when you get out in this 42 feet of water where these tulip peas are. So you, you don't know what you're gonna catch out here. You catch walleyes, tulip peas, perch, and sometimes big northerns. Midwest Gun Dog Kennels is your full-time gun dog training facility. For over 30 years, we have customized our training to fit each individual gun dog. We know it takes a well-trained gun dog to handle wild birds. Make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gun Dog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gun Dog Kennels where experience equals excellence. Your next day on the water even better with Airwave Pedestal, the only air suspension system that can be custom adjusted to the weight of the rider. No unreliable springs, no oil-filled shocks to leak. Our patented design utilizes a two-stage suspension system to smooth out the roughest ride, a limiting travel to an industry-leading two inches. This boating season, enjoy your time on the water to the fullest. Find out how at airwavepedestal.com. Hi, my name's Chris Kudak, a local around here. Uh, we got a bunch of guys out here on our annual tulipy fishing tournament, or tulipy fishing out with a bunch of guys having fun and uh, Focus Outdoors is out here again to do a little shoot with us. And what we're using today is four pound test line. And this is from Custom Jigs and Spin, it's a dropper. You put these little rubber pieces 
you put them through your line, you, you loop them through this, this flasher, and the flasher is what gets them tulip piece looking at it, and then you got your, your jig down on the bottom, what we're using is a little tungsten jig, and them are also custom jigs and spins, and they got all different colors. This is a green and, and white one glow in the dark that works very, very well with a little diamond on it. So that's our rod and reel, and we also got the, the little round tungsten jigs that are small. And we're, what we're doing is putting wax worms in your larvae. We're putting three, four your larvae, three, four wax worms, just globbing them on there, just so it, it's kind of a smell, and the fish will take it. And then Cold Snap also has got this little toothpick. And this little toothpick, you, you get these tungsten jigs and the paint don't stay on them. So with your toothpick, you can get in there and pop them out, and they'll... The, the jig will come right out. So you're not grabbing hold of them with your forceps or your pliers to do this. And this has got a retractable deal on it, so you can put, put, put it on your pants or your coat. And uh, we're using K-drills for drilling our holes with the batteries, because we were drilling a bunch of holes. We got four or five guys drilling holes. And we got extensions on them, because we got three feet ice out here. We're fishing outside. It's 11 degrees, but the sun's out. It's starting to warm up a little bit. We also got our Vexars, we got our 28s and our 30s that you can mark the fish with and you can see them from the bottom. What these fish are, they're on the bottom so you got to raise them up with these little jigs and once they see that jig they're after it. I mean, and you can see them with these flashers because these flashers are so powerful now that you can pick up these little jigs and them flashers on there. And we're going to get back to fishing, we're going to show you some fish and at the end of the day we'll, we'll uh, show you how many we caught. And how we caught them, and we'll get these guys. We got guys from Texas with us. We got a guy from uh, South Dakota that's never ever fished tulipies, and they're catching perch and tulipies, so they're having fun. Oh, you got my rod. Huh? You got my line. You got his line. You had it. You got it. Another perch. Another perch. Hold it way up there. <laughs> <laughs> like a tiger bar in a fish aquarium. Can you drag him out or do you want me to help you? Little perch. Tie it to your bumper. <laughs> Little perch. But you know, you get you get tulipies, you get perch, and they're here. Five is the deepest. There's another one. Just kind of perched. And looked down and there was some more marks there. There's another tulip. Piece. So they're moving in. We got some clouds coming in. Now it's not as sunny as it was. Usually they shut down when it's gets cloudy, but there's a few more around. <laughs> Way to go, Bob. Come on, Bob, get him in. Anybody got a ruler on them? Yeah. Uh, 
20 and a half. 20 and a half. Lucky guy. 20 and a half. What do they have to be on this side? 21. I'm Mark from St. Croix Beach, Minnesota. Craig from Breezy Point, Minnesota. I'm Val from Fort Worth, Texas. Mary Carson's from Foley, Minnesota. Dickie from Dickie's on Mille Lacs. Mark from Oak Park, Minnesota. Bob from Beersford, South Dakota. Phil from Forreston, Minnesota. Chris Kudak from Forreston, Minnesota. With Dickie on Mille Lacs up here, March 3rd, 2021. We were out yesterday, caught a bunch of tulipies. And we brought these guys up today to do some shoots. And here's what we got for tulipies today. We missed a bunch, but we caught a bunch. Uh, we had a good time up here. And Dickie was, plow, was good enough to come out and plow his roads out and bring us out and show us where to go. And here's the crew for today. Hey, we, when did we end up with 25, 30, 30. tulipies? 30 and a couple perch. 30 and a couple perch, so we had a good day. We got here, what, seven in the morning, and we fished till about one o'clock, and now we're done for the day. Thank you all for coming. That's all I gotta say. Thanks, Dickie, appreciate it, man. Without me. It's like that river only knows one way to flow. Ain't nothing gonna change me. So I've got a dirt road, so. No 12 gauge and a compound bow. And a dog named Otis tells me where to go. We push through the woods until we're good and gone. And find a spot to camp and wake up to the dawn. And there's a